So why would I waste my time? That is a really good question. Why would you waste your time? Why would you dedicate a half an hour to making a video response? Four and a half hours to a live stream and an entire night on Twitter melting the fuck down. Why would you invest so much time when it's so precious when you have such important things to do that seems like an inordinate amount of time to invest in something you're clearly not interested in? Really gets the old noggin jogging. Maybe we can try to puzzle this out as we work our way through the video and inform the audience what the fuck this is about. Now, about a week or so back, I was doing what I typically do on Twitter, deal with gay MRA furries that want to shoot people for being tough guys on the internet. Okay, Medicare. This is coming from me. I've been to Afghanistan. I've been bombed on by the Taliban. I've been around landmines. I have had the. I've had my ass stomped. Do you think I? Do you think that me? I'm gonna be afraid of you. You're. I can guarantee you, if you and I met face to face to face to face. You and I, out of the two of us, you would be, uh, you'd be the whiny little bitch on the ground after I pounce you. You know, a typical Tuesday, when all of a sudden a wild banshee appears and starts screeching at me for a whole host of fucking reasons. I was, uh, I was left a little speechless at first. I was kind of sitting there like, uh... What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Which would be your reaction, too, to a deluge of ass pain in the form of tweets? Especially when they take on such a transparent and bizarre form. I'm sure you would. Lots of people would. Hey, Medicare, how's that $3,700 a month of hipster welfare check working out for you? Also, why would somebody who isn't a pussy refuse to show his name or face? Do you look like Bubbles from The Trailer Park Boys? Just wondering. Now, maybe I misinterpreted that. Maybe girl writes what is thirsty as fuck and is looking to get a little bit of action. But uh, I responded in, I think, a sensible manner. Hey, Jim, why don't you dox yourself? Are you scared? I've heard that song and dance before, but the last time it was Zoe Wu and Anita during Gamergate demanding people give away their identities. It was dumb then. It's dumb now. It's especially dumb when it's a former Gamergator who's currently involved in a lawsuit semi-related to that, making the statement that I should uh, just do away with my anonymity, that the anonymity is a bad thing, you need to get rid of that, and just put your fucking name and face out there. It gets even weirder when they follow it up with things like, well, you know, I might have access to his tax returns if he'd reveal his name, but he's too chicken shit to do that. All I know is that he said he relies on it now, and that's why he went back on his original position of seeing it as webfare or hipster welfare. And as the night progressed, things continued to get a little bit spicy, a little banter back and forth. Listen, Medicare, you talk a lot about real men and pussies. I've been doing what I do under my real name and face, address and phone number, available for years now. According to you, you're a pussy, and I'm a real man. Convince me this isn't the case. I agree, Karen. You are very mannish. But I guess Karen's right. Anybody that uses anonymity to put their opinion out there is a giant pussy. Take, for example, Oscar Wilde. That guy is a giant fucking vagina. At least, according to Karen's logic. You can't, you can't have freedom of speech if anonymity is an impossibility. Right? True. Oscar Wilde said it himself, you know, like, you, you don't... When, when a man talks to your face, you don't know him. It's, it's what he says when he thinks no one is listening that you know what he really thinks. Anonymity is important to freedom of speech because it allows you to say things that other people don't want you to say because they have a vested interest in you not saying it. I wonder if that theme is going to tie back into this video at all. Speaking of videos, there's a video, a half an hour long video that she released after this conversation, our little tete-a-tete -tete on social media. And she decided to take it a, a step further. It's not just that I'm a pussy that needs to reveal who I am. It's that if I do reveal who I am, I'm going to get the shit suit out of me. And she said that not once, not twice, but thrice. And it's not even as honest as Jerry Springer or Maury Povich, whom Medecker has compared IBS to, who were at least concerned about legal liability, like maybe getting sued for $25 million when one of your stunts goes wrong. As for Medicare's anonymity, I have been advised by someone on the Twatter that it was a bad angle to attack him from, and I have to admit he does seem to have plenty of reason to conceal his identity, given how much he likes to lie about people in ways that could get him sued, or worse, if he stopped being a bitch and showed his face and revealed his name, but then again, 
He's smart enough to be aware of his legal liabilities. Defamation is a thing even in the free speech utopia that is the United States. Jim, you need to put your name out there or you're a pussy, but if you do it, somebody's going to sue the shit out of you for defamation. Now, why would she bring up lawsuits? It's one thing to say that I should reveal who I am and that I'm a, a pussy if I don't do it, but why does she suddenly jump to the, if you do reveal who you are, you're going to get sued? In fact, this topic was broached on the four and a half hour stream that she was on. Okay, okay. You alluded to litigation talks three different what? times and his anonymity. Yeah. You know why? Yeah. Because Why? Because the moment you're really that... mad and you want to sue him, because it's not fair that he's anonymous. Oh, and oh my God! Good. I want to sue him for what? That's a good question. What reason would the money badgers or Karen have to sue me if they if they knew my real name? Well, that's where we gotta we gotta go back a little bit because in her video she outlines what caught her eye, what got her attention. I didn't get involved on the twatter until it came to my attention that the fans were bugging Medicare and Tonkasa to have Dean Esme back on, and Tonkasaw was arranging it. Good old Dean Esme. In fact, if you remember at the beginning of this video, the gay MRA furry that wanted to teach me a lesson. Ooh, Medicare, I'm going to stomp the shit out of you. I was in Afghanistan with all the different boys, and I got pounded so hard. I'm going to pounce on you and just yiff away. That guy was a panelist on Dean Esme's streams. In fact, he had done a few of them saying he wanted to come on to the Kumite. So why would Dean Esme coming on to the Kumite suddenly get her talking about my identity and potential lawsuits for defamation? How could that all tie into itself? What Medeker is going to do, he's going to use Dean and Dean's uh, alleged insider info, right, from a lunatic to completely, completely destroy... Honey Badger Radio. He's going to do this. I know he's going to do it. Okay, hold right? on, hold on. Oh, yeah, no, he, he said he said Jim he was already he was already building a video, getting material yes. for a video oh, on it. On. Insider information? What? Weirdos uh, who used to be attached to the show in certain ways who are also feeding allegedly insider information to Medicare and to Worski. Online weirdos that were former members of the Honey Badgers were feeding me and Andy Worski insider information, and I was going to use it to put into a video. Well, I did put out a tweet talking about how I wanted to focus on men's rights activists, because you can't listen to that beginning clip of a lisping tiger and not think that's fucking funny as shit, because it is. But she seems to have taken that in a completely different way. But what insider information could Dean and these online weirdos give me that I could put out and then draw in a lawsuit? If yeah, no, and, and frankly, like, actually suggesting that Allison's doing anything criminal or fraudulent is, like, those are actually, uh, those are actionable allegations. Oh, yeah. oh, it's about the money. So Karen from the Honey Badger sees that Dean Esme is going to get in contact with me. She doesn't really understand why, but she sees that he's going to come on to the Kumite. She gets it in her head that he's going to feed me, along with other people, insider information into their financial records, which I am then going to release on my anonymous account. And because I'm anonymous, she can't sue me for doing it. But as she put it, if my name was out there and I released a video talking about their fundraisers, that's legally actionable activity. I could get the shit suit out of me, yo. Well, that kind of wrapped itself up in a nice little fucking bow, didn't it? Now, what could I possibly talk about when it comes to the money badgers and their handling of fundraisers? Or, say, a lawsuit. A three-year-long lawsuit in which they hired a lawyer that was disbarred. We, ha we have a <laughs> lawsuit going on. It's an expensive lawsuit. And we picked a lawyer who, who, um... He's not a lawyer. He's been disbarred. And then decided not to hire an actual lawyer. And we don't even, we're not even paying a lawyer to do our lawyering for us because that would be like three times as much money in his legal fees. And ran three fundraisers for it. In fact, fuck it. How about all the other fundraisers? Hey, buy me a YouTube house. And don't forget to furnish it. What would possibly make people think they're mismanaging money? And why would somebody be so nervous about insider information related to that? I mean, they've got great legal representation. That's why they had to withdraw their lawsuit multiple times and refile it, because they were suing the wrong entity. Even though you could literally go onto the fucking Alberta Courts website, and they will tell you exactly how to get the name of the person or 
your business that you want to sue. Hey, Karen, maybe he's not doing a great job. Maybe that's why this has taken three fucking years. Well, when you take that big picture in and you look at it, comments like this, cry some more. Tell me now how you're scared I'm going to dox and sue you. Or this, stop making excuses for this piece of shit. If I ever do need his dox, I know how to get them thanks to him. And if he ends up needing to be sued because he can't control his behavior, everyone will end up knowing who he is. Boy, things are starting to make a little bit more sense now. I mean, just add all the comments together, all the statements together, and you get a really clear fucking picture of what the actual issue here might be. Worski is currently trying to lure Allison onto his show to answer some allegations of financial malfeasance and unethical behavior from alleged insiders who want a dish, which I've known Allison for a long time now, and suggestions that she misappropriates the funds Honey Badgers collects are completely bunk. I see through your shit, Karen. Just so you know. I see through your transparent, glass-like bullshit. But aside from the vague, indirect ways of trying to make threats that if I talk about certain things or talk to certain people, there'll be repercussions, uh, Karen had a few other things to bring up. Some exceptional bullshit. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Internet Blood Sports, that whole format where you invite people on to yell at each other and banter with one another, it's responsible for numerous suicides. You say... Nobody is that pathetic that they're going to kill themselves over internet blood sports and, and the fallout that creates, right? But I've talked to people who have emailed me since I put out my video saying, thank you, I got so fucking hounded by internet blood sports fans on my social media that I was going to kill myself. I was thinking of killing myself. All those dead bodies. Oh, my God. You People got have screwed. emailed me to say that they felt yourself. suicidal. Oh, you need to make a statement. You need to release a statement saying you don't advocate for all these suicides. Oh, yeah. And it's just lulls. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Until it's not. And, like, have a little bit of fucking responsibility. Take a little bit of responsibility. At least admit... Karen. That this is shit that happens. That haven't actually happened. Well, there's no evidence that anybody has as yet committed suicide because of internet blood <laughs> sports. But, right. okay, but there have been people who have reached out to me and said that they were feeling suicidal because of being targeted by the fanboys. Right? And so, like, yes, it it is actually something to be concerned about. In fact, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but uh, internet blood sports, it's pretty hardcore parkour. You don't find people being bullied into suicide on 4chan. What? Because we're two exploding vans of danger. Internet hate machine, move over. Nobody nobody gets bullied on 4chan into suicide or thinking about suicide. You know, on the site or off the site. That never happens. That only happens on a YouTube stream with fucking YouTubers. Because YouTubers are more dangerous than 4chan. I have to give the Money Badgers this. They really have convinced me to do a series on the men's rights movement. I mean, how could I fucking not? The reaction I've received from simply interacting with them or bantering back and forth with them has been very telling. And I'm very curious about the personalities and the communities involved in this uh, activist activity. Hell, I haven't even really gone over what got this initially kicked off, which was an autistic man who plays with puppets getting angry at me because I was being mean to a self-confessed pedophile. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not even making that up. So consider this the entree for the meal that's to come. I'm going to be doing some thorough background research into the men's rights movement's figures, communities, fundraisers, just everything. Because when I encounter people that tell me I can't do something or I shouldn't do it because something bad's going to happen, I suddenly want to do it even more. Gets me very fucking interested. So you can look forward to some highly entertaining videos to come. Or as Karen would put it, lolling at the lol cows just for the lols.